hang up and try again. What's up guys, welcome back to Hybrid Wellness. It's time to get some fitness. Before we start, you're gonna need a few things. Jump rope, and then you're gonna need some resistance bands, and then you're gonna need some kettlebells, and then you're gonna need TRX straps. If you don't have TRX straps, that's totally fine. If you decide to work out, there's about five stages to work out. First stage is denial. You're like, oh man, I'm in shape. I feel fine. Everything's good. No, you're not. You're not in shape. You don't feel good. The second stage is anger. You feel mad. You're like, I can't do this. That's okay. You'll be able to do it at a certain point. The third stage is bargaining. So when you start bargaining with yourself, you're like, I worked out yesterday. I don't need to do that today. So I'm just gonna skip it or I don't know how to use this machine. I'm not gonna use it or I'm tired. I'm just gonna sleep a little bit and I'll go later. Don't do that. Don't bargain, get up, go. The fourth stage is depression does set in when you're exercising, totally happens. You get sad, you're like, I, I don't feel good while I'm doing this. I can't do this, this isn't for me. This doesn't work for me. There's so many feelings going through. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, you gotta get through it one step at a time. People always ask about motivation. Now, how do you keep yourself motivated? I don't always feel motivated, not at all. It's more about discipline. I just know that I need to work out today. I'm gonna set myself one hour. I'm gonna get my workout in. That's my goal. That's my motivation. You get discipline, set a schedule, make it a routine, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. You'll see some results. That is the best motivation. It's gonna make it so much easier for you to do it the next day and the day after that and the day after that. And the fifth stage is, that's where you get to kind of accepting that this is, this is my process, this is what I have to do. I'm gonna keep doing it, I'm gonna see results, I'm gonna feel better, and all those things kind of culminate and then you become better. Everything just becomes great, okay? Exercise really does make such a big difference. You'll make better choices while you're eating, your sleep gets better, your energy gets better. There's so many positives. Those may also be the five stages of grief. I don't know, but they totally overlap. So follow the plan, try this workout and see what happens. So before that, what you have to do is uh, get a warm up in. We're gonna use a Tabata timer for that. That's a 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off time cycle. You can get that app anywhere online. I'm gonna link everything below what I recommend and keep it as affordable as possible. These are all the things I recommend you have for a home gym. Uh, you can do almost any workout with these things, okay? To start this workout, it's my fitness test. We're gonna see how you feel. You need to set a clock for 45 minutes. Try to complete all the workouts in 45 minutes, not including the warm up in your 45 minutes. You're gonna jump rope, get yourself warmed up. You're gonna take about five to 10 minutes to stretch yourself out before you jump into the workout. You guys ready? One, two, three, here we go. <laughs> this is misfit.fit okay she helps me out with everything she'll be doing the examples and the demonstrations we're not going to go through the whole workout today i'm going to show you bits and pieces of the workout and any modifications that you may need i want you guys before you start to set a 45 minute timer do your best to complete all the exercises and see how you do your goal is to finish this workout within the allotted time if you're unable to finish the workout that's fine just go ahead write down how far you got, the repetitions you completed, and in four weeks, try it again. We're gonna start off with a pull-up. I know, you can't do a pull-up, it's okay. We're gonna show some modifications. Eventually, you'll be able to do a pull-up. Roxy can't do pull-ups yet, but we're working on it. One, she could do one. That's great, that's great. Any pull-ups are great. I couldn't do a pull-up before I started exercising. Most of us won't make it through this first workout in 45 minutes, and that's fine. Like I said in the beginning, do your best, write it down, Try it again in about four weeks after you complete the foundational work okay so we're gonna get started the first exercise i'm gonna have roxy do is a pull-up i'm expecting 25 pull-ups set go ahead one two while you're doing this if you do have the trx and it gets difficult what you can do is take a few steps back Roxy was set up, there we go. So she took a few steps back, position changed, exercise will become easier, definitely. If you don't have a TRX at home, that's fine. 
We have the resistance bands. Let's go slowly and sit on your butt. Uh, it's plenty of tension here, okay? Now we're gonna do a simulated pull-up. Do pull-up action, there we go. One, give me five reps. Two, three, four, five. If you don't have any of those, the kettlebells come into play here. You take both kettlebells, you're just gonna reach down, position one, two, three, and go up to 25. Clock's running, clock's running. So the goal here is to finish this as quickly as you can, if you can. If you can't, you just go until the clock stops. Next exercise we have is a squat. If you don't have a stool, you can use a chair as well. Up. Goal here is a 50 rep, okay? Rox, let's get you going. Sit all the way, yeah. Good adjustment. Sit all the way, lose the tension. Your goal here is to actually go through this as quickly as you can. This may seem easy. You're doing a pull-up, simulated pull-up, then squats. I tell you right now, if you feel like you're getting lightheaded, dizzy, nauseous, or sick, stop. The workout wins every time. I've been doing this for 12 years. The workout has not lost yet. So be aware of how you're feeling. Make sure if it's too much, stop. Write it down. Next time you try it, see how far you get. Third exercise is gonna be a push-up. Misfit, please. I don't have to demonstrate this. She's a pro. 50. I'm actually gonna make her do 50 right now. One, two, that's three. Look at her elbows flaring back, six. Perfect, you don't want your flare, el elbows flaring up and out. No chicken wings. Starting to get tired, that's okay. Two. <clears throat> Fail, that's okay. So we're gonna modify, knees down. Hips forward. Let's get a close up here of this uh, positioning. This is really important when you're doing modified push up. Her hips are forward. Roxy, hit your butt up in the air. So that is not correct. Hips forward again. Straight. There we go. That's it. Fail. Good. So, how do we modify when we fail? You know how to modify when we fail? Get your chicken wings. No. <laughs> get your shirt back. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. <laughs> She's stalling right now. <laughs> so modification when you fail. She's able to start off with push-ups. Oh, hi, Mega. How you doing? Okay, so she's able to start with, <laughs> with push-ups. If you're unable to start with push-ups, you can start with the modification. If you're unable to start with the modification, the easiest way to get your strength and learn how to do push-ups is start from the floor position. From this position, you're gonna push your body all the way up. Let your body fall. Just like the squats, lose the resistance in your arms and then push up again and fall and push up again. That's a great way to get your strength and learn how to do some push-ups. For those of you who are unable, unable to do any of these types of push-ups, a simple modification to get started, run over to this wall. Kind of like TRX and just let your body fall and push up off the wall. <laughs> Turn your face a little to the side. Don't smash your face. <laughs> That's the easy way to get started with push up. Next exercise we're gonna go is to sit ups. So sit ups, we can do multiple ways. The way I like to do sit ups, and this is my preference, is legs straight, like we're doing the yoga sit up. Full extension with your arms above your head, behind your head and roll up, touch your toes. Your rep count here is also 50. You may be done at this point. Your time might be up and that's okay. Slight modification, if you're uncomfortable doing sit-ups that way, bend the knees, shoulders, up. If you're unable to do sit-ups without something holding your legs down at the house, put your feet under a couch or some type of weight, hold yourself down. In this case, that would be the couch. It makes it a little bit easier for you to actually do the workout. Let's do some modification. So we're going to do some crunches, knees bent, reach to the sky. Good. So she already knows what she's doing, but I'm going to explain a little bit here. She has a point up in the sky she's focusing on. She's making sure her middle fingers are reaching up and touching the point. What we don't want to do is reach forward. Absolutely not. We don't want to put our hands behind our head because 
the police tell you to do that and i don't know why you do that at <laughs> during a workout <laughs> do that again real quick so look at that so she's pulling her neck trying to tuck her chin don't want to do that goal here is also 50. so we have push-up squat sit up what's next can you tell me coach step up we're alternating between the upper body exercise and the lower body exercise an upper body exercise lower body exercise and the core gets mixed in find a stool if you don't have a stool you can use a chair if you don't have a chair you can use a box if you don't have a box you can use some steps in the house your count here is 100 it's 50 on each leg this is going to get your heart rate up this is going to test out your stamina you let me know how it feels alternating that's 10 out of 100 her goal is to hit 100 as quickly as she can what i'd like you to try at home is if this is easy for you, you go side hop. If this is easy for you, you can go box jump. Okay, 50 reps if you're doing singles. So if you're doing a box jump, it's gonna be 50 reps. If you're doing alternating step ups, it's gonna be 100 reps. If you're doing a side step, it's gonna be 100 reps as well. My heart rate's going up already. I barely did any. Four down, two to go. 10 pound kettlebell, if you got it, great. If you don't got it, use some, it'll work for 10 pounds. One gallon of water is about five pounds. It's a good place to start. 25 on the right, 25 on the left. Demonstrate, go ahead. Every time she's going down, she's creating angles. So make sure you're doing this correctly. Uh, do one incorrectly, just bending straight over with the rolled back. That's incorrect. Things we do not, that's not right either. That's horrible. But what I want is this right here. Down, up, press. If you start getting tired, take a break. Like I said, if you're getting nauseous, dizzy, sick, you feel like you're going to throw up, it happens. I've seen it happen. It's not a pretty sight. Take a break. Totally fine. That's where the anger steps in right there. You're like, oh, and then you're kind of depressed because you threw up afterwards. That's okay. That's okay. Try it again. How you feel? I feel like I should skip my workout. See, she feels like we're just demonstrating right now, but I mean, and Roxy works out with me regularly. So she's breathing heavy. This is a tough exercise. It seems simple. You're doing some simple moves, but it really will set a baseline on where your strengths are, where your weaknesses are. Remember, remember, remember. You don't feel good. Take a break. You don't make the clock. Take a break, stop, try it again. If you can't do 50 of something, that's fine. It's totally fine. If you can only do 20 push-ups and that's it, that's it, stop, next, next. If you finish the whole workout without completing your repetitions and make it under 45 minutes, great, stop, clock it, write it down. Make sure you, you know exactly what you did, which ones you completed, which ones you didn't complete, and then try again every four weeks. Ultimately, you'll be able to finish this workout in under 20 minutes. Last exercise we have is chin up, okay? Yeah. Noodle arms, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Set up. Guys, remember, the closer you are to the point of contact, the more difficult the exercise is gonna be. Go ahead, give me five. One, two, no tension loss here. Three, four, five. Band modification, palms facing behind you. Elbows in, pull. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, that's good. If you don't have any of these at home, kettlebells or some type of dumbbells or weights, pull. Cool. That is the fitness test. I want you guys to give it a try, clock it, let me know what you do, put it in the comments, I will reply. I'll put a description in the bottom. Thank you, Miss Fit. Appreciate Thank you, you always. Thank you, guys. Uh, please subscribe and please like. If you have any questions, shoot us some DMs. Okay. Here's our yeah. Because here's here's.